everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here with Braulio. How are you doing today, Braulio? I'm doing well, thank you. Braulio, you are a trader, correct? I am, yes. Now tell everybody, before we talk about your great trade here, Michael Kors, a little bit about your background. You did take my Golden Gap class, but then you ended up doing something else and came back. Like briefly, just tell everybody a little bit here, your trading story. Well, yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I, I've known Melissa for about, I think, over a year now. and. Uh, Yes, I took the class, but unfortunately, due to some uh, difficult economic times, I had to I had to leave, uh, and came back just recently, about four or uh, no, uh, six months now. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was it was six months at least, January, I think. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, I uh, had to start all over again, you know, from from zero, uh, go through the class again, and just start getting the, the building up on that experience. Now let me ask you this. You did the class, I know, and then you had to come back and retake it. Did you feel like you forgot everything when you redid it again this year or, or what did you, did you remember stuff? Of course I, I remember stuff. I okay. uh, just wanted to uh, get everything fresh, you know. Okay, well then that's good. Then if you remembered a lot, that's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, I started uh, just following. Following you, I remember I learned. Uh, I still had the lessons, uh, mm -hmm. the uh, previous lessons, mm -hmm. and I decided just to follow follow you uh, from the beginning. Um, of course, I had little uh, difficulties here and there, mm -hmm. and most recently was my uh, stop losses, mm -hmm. uh, which made me, uh, act which forced me actually to uh, limit my risk, to lower my risk, mm -hmm. and uh, I was frustrated uh, for. Uh, uh, a period, of, uh, a period of time until actually I had a conversation with you about uh, <laughs> uh, 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 a couple of weeks ago, and uh -huh. we went over. It and uh, after that conversation, you know, I follow your advice. I took action immediately, and yeah. and I got that issue solved. Great. It's really, really important to take action immediately when a problem arises, and just make note of that for the future, Braulio. Anything, anything at all whether it has to do with your platform or the broker or whatever it happens to do or even something that's going on with you if you take a trade or you don't understand it because otherwise it'll fester and it'll it's going to come up again like if something's going on then it's going to happen again so you need to address it immediately don't be afraid to do that roger that okay. <laughs> you and your roger that today <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot help it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's really, really funny. I just want to tell everyone, Braulio, like since the day I met him, has been so heartfelt in generally, generally wanting to be successful as a trader. And I think his story is so, uh, um, is, 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 is heartwarming because of the fact that you t literally took the class. And then everything like collapsed in your life and you didn't even have a chance to like do anything and then you had to leave. And it was just like one of those circumstances and then the fact that you remembered me and you remembered the market and you, you kept the conviction. I mean it really is all about the conviction. Again, you kept the conviction that you wanted to trade and you did it. And, and something that I taught you made you want to come back and I'm really, really proud of you for doing that. I think, thank you. And I, I, you, you just hit it up on the, on the top of the, of the nail right there. Uh, it's all about conviction and just having that, that uh, belief in a, in your system was, was what made me come come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I, you know, I know you've thanked me for coming into your life, Raleo, but you're, you know, you've been wonderful to have in my life as well. You, you give me, inspire me for someone that I've actually made a difference in their life. You know what I mean? So I, I want to say that I appreciate that, all the nice things that you've said to me. Thank you. All right, let's talk about Michael Kors. Okay, so Michael Kors was a gap that happened on May 27th. Let me just bring up the one minute chart here. First of all, do you actually rate the gaps on your own or not? I never actually asked you this, or do you just go with my rating in the morning? Uh, recently, I started doing, uh, uh, starting May, I started waking up early, mm -hmm. and um, uh, earlier than, than usual. 
um, before I even sign up, uh, enter the room, mm-hmm. I would do the reading on my own. Good. Uh, and so I don't, I don't, once I, once I enter the room, I have something to compare to it to make sure, okay, did I get the right answer sort of okay. thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, um, and, like, and that day of, um, uh, of the course, I remember the moment I saw it uh, without even reading it. I'm like, I, I was completely in love with it. <laughs> Did you say. think like no chance of failure or like what were you thinking? It, it, exactly. That's what my mind was thinking. It's like, uh, that's great. I, 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 uh, and this is the amazing part. It's like uh, you have changed my, uh, the way my eyes uh, see things now. Is 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 crazy? It's almost like you know. I, I when I first started this, I I saw it, it this as a dream, you know, uh-huh, uh, uh-huh. something uh, uh, for the moment too far for, uh, from reaching. Right. And and now I'm starting to see things. No, they're uh, they 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 are achievable. You know, it's just, yes. Uh, yes. How, how 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 hard you want it? I, I guess it's all, you know, everything comes down to that. Well, now I forget what are you for your regular full-time job I know you haven't transitioned into full-time trainer you're training horses or something right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. recently I'm, I'm new to that <laughs> that's amazing so obviously you're gonna watch the race this weekend the Belmont well uh, uh, I'm not too much into racing I'm just um, I'm training okay. horses are running this area mm-hmm. okay wonderful mm-hmm. well some mm-hmm. of them run in the big races though don't they uh, this is uh, ju- uh, what I do is for people that are actually on horses for uh, recreation. Uh, oh, so now. recreation. Okay, mm-hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Yes. Well, you know, it's one of my dreams on a racehorse. So when I when I buy that, then you can train it for me. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> definitely. I'll be I'll be I'll be more than happy. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So tell me here what went on with you on this day here with the course. What did you do with this thing? Uh, well, I like I said, I had I had a conviction, and um, I had my the the stop losses uh, uh, issue covered. Mm-hmm. So I knew how much I wanted to to risk. I was comfortable risking for the uh, for the right setup, and this is was a, a well rated gap. And I was just waiting for the setup to once it opened. It, uh, mm-hmm. it as we can see in the charts, it went up. And I saw it was fighting resistance, and right about the the third minute, I think, mm-hmm. when I saw the the red uh, the red candle, mm-hmm. that's when I I don't even know how much uh, I risked, but you know my uh, my account size <laughs> is, <laughs> it's it's You're not so it's not funny. that big. Uh-huh. You're like I took the whole thing. <laughs> I, took, I remember I just made that calculation. Uh, you know, I have I have a calculator just like like you yes, you do next I to told you. you. Yes, yeah, you and, have I, to. and uh and I did the the maximum of, of shares I can I can short. And oh, that's that was good. when I saw that mm-hmm. I immediately just pressed the button and went all in. <laughs> so you were all in in this bar here at nine thirty three. Was this the where you got it? Yeah, I yeah. I did it right on the on the red okay, bar. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, let me ask you this. Again, I'm calling these things live, but because mm-hmm. you did the class, like, are you kind of, like, preempting it with me? Like, are you, like, mm, 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 when I'm watching these? Like, are you, like, right on top of it with me? Or are you kind of, like, getting it right after me? Like, are you, no, like, right uh, no, on top no, of it? No, I, I am preempting it. Like, okay. I can see the action that is going on. I, I, okay. I, and, and then I think a second after you just called it and gave me more conviction in it just to, okay, I did it right, you know, that kind of thing. This, were you worried about this one? Because again, going back, like let's pretend this wasn't even here. At the uh-huh. moment that this was doing this, it was like, uh, you know, like were you worried it was going to reverse swoosh or something, or what were you thinking like before it did that? Uh, like, I remember looking uh, during the pre-market, so I had a uh, yeah. Let's bring that up. I, I I had an expectation that you could uh, there was a chance that it could go up to 50, uh, 50 60 or fifty seventy uh, run around that number. Mm-hmm. So I I was I was okay with that. Okay. And um, just seeing that uh, that resistance le- uh, level mm-hmm. made me the conviction to actually just go go all in. Mm-hmm. Now let me ask you this: so you took it, but mm-hmm. then the bar was green here, and then you were actually negative with the stop mm-hmm. in. It didn't take you out. Like, were you? Did you sweat a bullet then, or what was going on at uh, this one? 
Yes, of course. Uh, yes, uh, uh, since I was going all in, yes, I definitely was uh, sweating a bullet there. But I, <laughs> I, la- I locked, you, you know what? I locked my hands. I put my hands in my back. Really? Did you? <laughs> yes, that's what, that's what I did. I said, I'm not going to kill it. I'm not going to kill it because it's, it's not yeah. doing anything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exactly what I say when I like something. It's not doing anything wrong. It's not doing anything wrong. And actually, here you could have taken more. Mm-hmm. Right, but yeah. I, I couldn't. I couldn't take any. Okay. More. <laughs> well, that was okay. <laughs> You're like I risked a million dollars. I was all in. Okay. <laughs> so then, tell me what you did. Like, how did you get out of this, or what happened here with this one? Okay. Since so, uh, I I saw it was falling, mm-hmm. and uh, you were in the trade, so I was just doing it exactly what you were doing. I okay. think if it was, if it wasn't, uh, if I, if you weren't doing it and if you weren't in, in the room, mm-hmm. I think I would have killed it just at around 10 o'clock because that's, uh, I guess that's what uh, I would go for. Mm-hmm. Right. Which is not a bad, I mean, that's not bad because a lot of times that is a reversal time. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see here kind of backed up a tiny little bit here around the 10 o'clock, 10 five period. But literally, did you hold this to 48? Because I was like, 48, 48, 48. Did you hold yeah, it to Yeah, I, I, I held it. I was like, I, I already, I, I, I took this much risk. I'm just going to go with it and yeah. just follow what you're doing. You know, I, I, I had the conviction, too, that it was going to have yeah. a big movement. Yeah. And it, I just stuck with it. <laughs> so how much money did you make in this trade in the day? Uh, it was my biggest win. Uh, it was about eighteen hundred, and I couldn't That's believe it because I never, I never, That's I never, so I never had that much, oh that much God, money. Oh my God, Mario, that is humongous! <laughs> I, what percentage of that was your account? I mean, you don't have to tell me if you don't that, want to. But that was no, that that was about twenty five percent of the That's account. Crazy. That's crazy! <laughs> That's huge. It, it is. I couldn't believe it. I, I, I was literally sweating a bullet at the beginning, yeah. and then at the end, I was like, <laughs> I cannot believe I have this much. <laughs> fabulous but you hit it and you know what's really even the best thing that you did with this is like you said you put your hands behind your back when Mm -hmm. this thing happened and you stayed with the trade and by this time you're up the money which is which is fine but i had a webinar that day did like where did you end up getting out of the whole thing then do you remember Uh, um yeah i think around 11 yeah around Around 11 11 o'clock right in here Like mm-hmm. you got a, you got a four seven in front of it then, right? Mm-hmm. Great. So, do you have to leave at a certain time, or how do you manage your day? Like, if you're in something like this and it's working and you're up a lot, like, what have you been doing with that? Oh, well, uh, with with that trade, I I was done by before eleven. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was, mm-hmm. But like, if you're not, what do you do? Do you just kill it? Like, or what happens if you're waiting for it? If you have to leave the house, what do you usually do? I I change the the stop loss, uh, the the limit. I change the limit to uh, to break even if okay. it reverses. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good idea. And I I kind of and then whenever I have a uh, a break, I check I check the train. <laughs> <laughs> Well, most of them do go really, really quick in the morning. But like every once in a while, obviously, you have something like this. I mean, this thing just fell into four o'clock, really, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which was really, really good. I mean, it would have gone to 45, which I said was a dream target, I think, if it wouldn't have run out a day. The next day down, it got like in the pre-market. This was actually at like 45.18 in the pre-market the following day. Mm-hmm. So this was your biggest day ever, and you've just been back at it six months, and you made $1,800. Yes, and that was my my biggest my biggest win. I, I, I still cannot believe I did that. You know, that, yes, the Fantastic. amount amount of risk I took. You know, and it, it's that's that's the conviction right there. <laughs> so, what do you attribute that to? The setup, the gap rating, having me call it. Like in your mind, what do you attribute the ability that you did? Because you did it. I mean, even well, though I called it, it was really you that did it. Because you risked your own money. You didn't risk my money. You risked your own. Like, what do you attribute that to? The setup. The setup is what uh, uh, gave me that conviction. Okay, this here. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. Well, that's because I, I already I had I um, you know I had I had my my plan of action you know prior to entering it's like okay how much uh, I had this notion that I I described at the beginning I knew it could go all the way to 
50, 70, you know, reach 51. But I, my, in my mind, it was 50, 70 was, uh, I guess, the highest. Okay. And I was okay with it. So it was doing exactly, uh, and I recognized the resistance. And right when I saw that red candle, you know, all that, uh, that action coming, coming in uh, to the downside, that's when I, okay, this is my, this is my, my key, you know, my, my trigger. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, how many times, I forget, have you actually done the class? Like, I don't think I've ever I've actually even asked you that. Uh, well, this, this year, I think I've uh, done it th uh, three, three times. So what do you get out of it, like, after the first time? Like, when you retake it, like, what do you get out of it? Well, of course, uh, 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 the class has a, a lot of uh, information. Uh, you know, I think most most can agree that it's overwhelming. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I in, think in I'll a, take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, in, in a good way. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's, I feel every time I'm done uh, with 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 the, I was done with the class. Uh -huh. I felt very. Uh, <laughs> knowledgeable because I learned something new and I think I told you that in in a, in, in a couple of emails you know, every time I take your class I feel like I learn I pick up something new I, I always pick up something new and, and and anything that I learned before you know it's even uh, gets deeper in into my into my mind into my brain mm -hmm. and that's what helps me you know just uh, uh, have this information engraved and and <laughs> just the repetition and the experience yeah. in the room. Yeah. Is what uh, helps build up the, this this conviction, you know. Yes, definitely. And you can you saw that this month. I mean, look at what happened. Like you saw that this month. I mean, there were other examples of other trades that have happened earlier in the year that you just didn't take that much risk in. But as mm -hmm. time goes on, it and you're feeling better about yourself mm -hmm. and your abilities, you'll continue to replicate this, and then one day you'll make four thousand dollars on a trade. Do you know what I mean? And then you'll really. Like, and then you'll probably quit your job, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, horses are, are pretty, are, uh, they're, they're, they're amazing. They're, they're, it's a beautiful world. Uh, oh, uh, that's wonderful. <laughs> but, but yes, uh, this, this gives me a, an, uh, uh, another way to actually do things. Maybe perhaps in the future, even own my own ranch. Yes, definitely. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> that you wanted to talk to me about which one was it oh Rex, Rex. Oh, okay let me bring it up now this one you're in are you still in this you're in this as a swing trade no I had a uh, I had a, a plan of action as well and I was my plan of action was to stick with it until they hit 40 wow let's see when that did that yesterday hmm? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you got out of it so where did you get in it I did it on the second day of the gap, the day after the gap. 5.13. So where was your paper stop? I did a, with this, I didn't want it to go above the, the, the first candle of the gap, the green, green candle. Now, did right. you actually take this as an option or an equity trade? What did you do with I, this thing? If, if I could, my, my preference would be equity. But uh, since I have, I don't have the the buying power mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. I did an option play on this. So mm -hmm. how do, how much did you end up making in this with the option? I mean, this is a good move here. I did seven hundred. I did seven hundred. That's good. Now let me ask you this again for the overnight. If what was the price of the entry? Like, if you had taken this as an equity, like let's just say you build the account up, you're doing really well. You have a couple more eighteen hundred dollar trades. What would you have made if you did do it as an equity at the price that you of the day that you got it, like and stayed in it to forty? I think with with this one, I think I would have uh, would have taken a thousand shares, okay. and uh, and I would have made five thousand. I think that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy because look, it really fell. And and I want and I think what made, what gave me conviction to enter this trade because with with options it's tricky. You gotta have a, the right timing, and the yeah. timing gets more difficult. And uh, but what made what gave me the conviction to enter this trade was um, I think the uh, the knowledge I uh, I gained from your uh, trends class. That's that's oh, what, really? that's what okay. that's what helped me. Yes, absolutely. That's what helped me uh, enter this trade. And and uh, and because it's an option, I had to uh, risk even more. But uh, 
I was confident it would go. It would go to target. And, I, and even though, you know, it, it had green days and uh, mm-hmm. on the way, I, I, didn't, I didn't kill it. You know, I, I stuck with it. My goal was to, it's going to go to 40. And once it reached 40, I'm up. <laughs> and and that, that's really good. I mean, I think the best thing that you said there just right now was the idea that you had a target and you had a plan of action and you took it out. Now, as it turns out, this did go down and actually broke 39, but it might have reversed before that and flipped you on through. I think the idea that you actually stayed with it and got out when you said you would because you did the option was the right thing to do because, again, it goes to do with the timing. Like, when was that going to expire by? Uh, I should add, it expired in uh, September, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. Uh, so then, yeah, yes. you're, you're fine. But still, it's mm-hmm. the idea you've got to get the timing right with the option. Right, because it, it fluctuates even more. The, the options, that's how they do it. So I, you got to be very careful with that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now, mm-hmm. let me ask you, are, so you're, you're day trading every day with me in the room. How many mm-hmm. options are you doing a week besides that? Uh, not that many. I just go for the ones that really uh, that have... I guess, strong potential, you know, like uh, right now, I mean, I have uh, a good amount invested in, 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 in the market, but uh, the way I do it is just uh, because it just, it goes up and down, up and down. Whenever I, I see like when, yes, I think last week, Thursday, when the market was down, mm-hmm. um, I added to my position and it just keeps building up to it. And I, um, as of now, I'm still up in the in the QQQs, and um, and then I remember doing the Oracle and Casco, and once I'm uh, up a certain percent, I have like I said, have having a plan of action is very important. So yeah. Now, once it hits my target, I'm out, and I and I guess what I'm doing is compound compound interest <laughs> because I. Well, that's I okay. Just, yeah, that's fine. Now, let me ask you this: You're in the QQQs. Uh, what's your target on this then here? Are you what? What are you? Where are you going to get out of this one? Uh, uh, my plan of action is to wait for that breakout and uh, most likely one one fifteen. Okay. All um, right. Anything uh, if it hits, because nothing goes up in a in a straight in a straight line. So just wait for the retracement and once I I I catch the profits on the top, you know, just uh, wait for that retracement and uh, get in play play like that. That's what, that's what that's my plan of action for, for the market. If it gets to 115, have you figured out how much you'll make on this one? Uh, yes, I probably um, I probably make a, a, well as of now. I don't wanna I don't wanna jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to tell me that. I don't wanna jinx you either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, You're funny. Since, since it's it's a it's a it's a it's it's a good size. Uh, I Woo! Think it, that's exciting. I I, I, I plan on tell I plan on sharing it once once it be, becomes realized. I'm, I'm telling you, it's gonna. <laughs> 120 or 125 uh, though i mean i don't uh, know again I, the timing but i'm telling you it's going over 115 I, but i mean you know. I, I, I know and i have yeah. the conviction that's why yeah. you know but yeah i but i have i, I do have a, a plan of action how, how to play because okay. you know it goes up and down and it's why not take a profit in the way you know <laughs> yeah no that's a good idea that's a good idea and as you get more experience with this and and doing more of them and also building the account then you can piecemeal out and then hold a, a portion of it to the larger target you know, which you haven't been doing, but you could certainly start to do that once you grow your account. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. I mean, I think this was really, really good. I appreciate you sharing with everybody. And the reason I wanted to do this video with you is because you have, because you did the class, you left, you came back. And one of the things that I talk to so many people about is this idea of perseverance. And I think you're a living, breathing example of that, Braulio, because you went through hard times after you did my class, didn't even have a chance to start really using the system, and then you still came back at it, and now look how successful you've been this year. I mean, it's just, it's really, really a great story. No, I owe all this success to you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You don't, you don't owe all of it to me. I mean, you owe a lot of it to yourself. Somehow you found me. I, how did you even find me? I, how did we meet? Uh, I remember uh, going on... Uh, and looking for YouTube uh, videos on the market, really? and that's that's how I, uh, you know, your your website came across. <laughs> really, that's yes. interesting. Wow. Mm-hmm. And it was, and it's just uh, 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 the energy you project with that made me 
even, you know, go for it, you know? So, yeah, yes. yeah, definitely. Well, I'm glad that I've inspired you to do it. I think that, you know, again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think that people that are, find me and take my class and learn from me are meant to be successful in the market and they're meant to find me. And obviously there was something in you. You you manifested me coming into your life. Do you understand that, Bralia? Like you created yes. this to happen. You Do you get that? I do, I do. I mean, you are responsible for that. Something in you wanted to meet me, and then you found me. So you are responsible for that. You are responsible for finding me to have the impact I've had on your life. So it is you. There's something within you that allowed that to happen. Your instinct, your knowing, your your spirit, that, that part of you that wanted to do something different with your life, that wanted to trade the market, that had the inspiration and motivation, that you wanted to make more money, and you were looking for someone that would help you do it. And in a sea of a million people in this vast universe, and you live in California, and we've never even met face to face, you put it out in the universe, and you created it to happen to bring me into your life. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, and I am so, I'm so glad I, I'm, I appreciate it. Everything uh, that I, you know, life has given me so much and I'm, I appreciate every single thing and you're one big piece of it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brian. But know that you can do it with other stuff. You know what I mean? Like, you can keep doing it. Like, the stuff that I taught you, the mindset, the things I'm talking about right now, this is above and beyond the money in the market. Other things that you want to create, circumstances that you want to change in your life, things you want to happen, now that you proved, and I'm mm -hmm. telling you that you brought me into your life and that you're doing this now with the market, you can keep building on that to manifest other wonderful things for yourself. Yes, you're absolutely true. And, and, uh, and that's, uh, that's something that uh, now I'm starting to uh, uh, see uh, more, more clear, clearly, uh, especially when I start thinking ahead now and uh, I can just... Uh, Michael Kors uh, trade that I did it made me realize, okay, it's not it's no longer a dream. It's everything that you put your mind to is, is achievable and just work towards the every goal that you have. And right now I'm I am I'm writing I'm writing my goals and I'm and I am created to achieve every single one. <laughs> That's great. And it doesn't mean that if a hard time happens that you give up. <laughs> I mm -hmm. think that's what's great about your story is, and I said this to you in the email, like, gosh, you know, the end of last year, whenever you reached out to me, it's really mm -hmm. about the fact that you, I think the, the great thing that you did for yourself and your own life is that even though stuff happened, you stayed optimistic. What a lot of people do is they let something that affects them and then they can spiral out of control and things can get worse. Do you know what I mean? And you didn't allow that to happen to you. You stayed strong within yourself and then was able to turn it around. And now things are better. It's just like the butterfly and the caterpillar in the class. Yes, exactly. That's the perfect analogy. Yeah. <laughs> I, did. I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> but you can. You can. Yes. <laughs> and look how smart you are. You didn't even know you were this smart. And look how intelligent you are. You're making these decisions. You're doing these option trades. I mean, you're you're looking at the gaps before I even run the room, and you're seeing the exact same things as me. I mean, this is what I'm talking about, where you have to act like your eyes are seeing the same thing that I see, and that's what you're getting. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, uh, and, and I'm still I'm still I'm still amazed what what happened last week, and I think as I. As I go along, I'll be uh, I'll be getting more comfortable at, at risking miracles. Like I said that day, I was I was literally sweating the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, do you find that when you when you put the when you put the stop in and you take the risk, mm -hmm. you've been doing this now for quite a while, though. I mean, it's it has been six months. Like, are you afraid ever? Are you saying, you know what? If the trade fails, like obviously some days trades don't work. When no. a trade doesn't work, like, are you like, are you like angry about it, or what's your attitude then? Like, how do you feel about it when you get up the next day? If you have a day where you take a loss on one day and you get up the next day, like, what ha what are you thinking then? Well, prior to that trade, I was only risking a uh, hundred to uh, two hundred uh, mm -hmm. per trade, and uh, the days that didn't work didn't work. I would just, uh, you know, flip the page sort of thing, mm -hmm. uh, and I was doing that. Uh, I, I wasn't able to well remember I had a I had an issue with this uh, stop loss yeah. so uh, I, I I was forced to to stay in this in this uh, uh, limit size and until um, I actually solved it and I 
and it was the turning point and where I just had this vision, this is going to work, S stay with it, have, you have the conviction, what? If it doesn't happen, at least, uh, you know, you, you did it, you know, you did it, uh, you did it on your own and mm -hmm. you learn from it. Right. Worse. And, uh, and that's what I did. And it, uh, uh, fortunately, it, it did work. <laughs> I think the one really good thing that you that you do, which can probably help other people, is you never get out of control where you act like a crazy person when you don't have an, uh, have a good day. Because mm -hmm. I think that sometimes people have that. And you never, like, double down or start trading, like, ten different things. I mean, you really, like, if, if something doesn't work, you're like, that's it. Like, I mean, you really are good about being in control like that. Yes, and, and, and that's because you, that's what you emphasize, you know, that, you know, and and the big movements do happen in the morning, um, like, and and if it didn't happen that morning, oh well, you know, it's okay. There's go, there's going to be another uh, good good gap the next day. Yeah, definitely. And I think the racks is a great example here. I mean, like you played this really well because obviously. This one didn't fall through in the day of the gap. Actually, did you get out of this with the money? Because we were up like sixty-five cents in this. Did you get out of this with profit, or were you saying? Did you stay through this? The rocks. No, the I, 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 I've been following. Uh, uh, you, you, I was following your okay. call. Okay, okay, good. But then you made more than that on the option. Correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I think that's the important thing here, and I'll just say this, and then I'll then I'll let you go. This, the fact that you took the stop on this even though you were up but you ha but you believed again the target was 40 it didn't get yes. there on the day of the gap but then you looked at it the next day and you said wait a minute the gap rating is still telling me this thing is good i still see that this thing is good that you allowed yourself whether you did the day trade here or swing trade or the option which is what you did you st you kept the conviction in the rating system and i think that has that has made an impact on you improving to to make more money Absolutely, absolutely, and and every, I decided, you know, I took, I took, I took your, all your classes, you know, your. I forgot uh, you took all my classes. That's so funny. Uh, I forgot you even did the trends class. Yes, and that that's what enforced, you know, that because in the, the trends class you you go deeper into major, uh, what major resistance, what major yeah. support levels are. Yeah. And that's I I, I started once after every. Uh, every now and then, I look at the trades we we take, and I I look for this for these uh, key uh, key factors that I can. Good for you. And and that's what I saw in the racks. I was like, okay, I have I have conviction that this is gonna go. And then and then you would in the room you would uh, you would even uh, uh, cover uh, you you would cover that the racks is gonna yes it's gonna yeah. go down. So you would enforce that conviction on top of that. So, so what are you, what's the biggest thing, let me ask you one more thing and then I'll let you go. What is the biggest thing that you get out of being in the room? Because you really could trade by yourself now. I mean, you're at the point now, you could trade without me. Like, what's the biggest thing you get out of the room? Uh, it's it's building up my conviction because, like I said, uh, remember I said that I, uh, pre, prior to actually entering the room, I do rate the gaps on, on my own and then try to verify if I, if I get close or uh, if I got the right answer, and uh, it's, it's helping me with my conviction. That's that's what it's it's doing. And it's just the experience, you know, seeing it through, seeing it through your eyes is it, helping me a lot. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much for talking tonight, Bralio. I really, really appreciate you sharing with everybody. I think it helps traders that are trading with me now, and it helps new people to understand that a regular person can obviously learn this system this is not something that's out of reach yes absolutely it's it's, uh, it's, it's achievable thank you so much oh you're welcome thanks probably and thanks everyone have a great night if you're interested in more information email me at melissa at the stock